I built my Voron printer last year with some custom modifications. One of the modifications is the build plate. I changed it several times to balance a flat surface with easy usage. And this might be the final setup for the build plate. Hi, welcome to Slow Engineering. I'm David. Build plate is the foundation for 3D printing parts to stack layer by layer to build the objects. From traditional manual leveling to sensor leveling, either come with various leveling methods to ensure the printhead is perfectly leveled with the build plate. But the thing is, is the build plate capable of being a perfect reference plan for those leveling methods? Although those methods will perfectly offset the bed, once the bed plan or mesh is not flat, 3D printing on uneven surface will eventually make the 3D printed surface uneven. And if the 3D printed parts need a reference plan for further CNC machining, usually the bottom layers will be first considered. The bottom layers can neglect the elephant foot effect, uneven shrinkage on X, Y along the Z direction, etc. At that time, the bottom layer's flatness becomes a critical factor for post-processing. Nowadays, the build plate comes with a heater to ensure less warping on some easy warping materials, like ABS. This is a good feature for diverse materials on FDM 3D printers, but it also tends to ward the heat back in cycles of heating and cooling. This phenomenon would become more distinct after using a period and eventually have a severe warping heat bed. One of the solutions is to place a glass on the aluminum build plate. Glass naturally comes with flatness and a low thermal expansion rate. It seems good enough for most applications until I used a dial indicator on the print head and measured the build plate. Clamping the glass on the heat bed will also make the glass bend eventually. Then fixing the glass on the heat bed becomes another issue. I came up with two solutions for this. One is using magnetic sheets on two sides between the heat bed and the glass. And the other solution is using the thermal pad to fix the glass on top. The magnetic sheet will force the glass to deform as the heat bed warp when heating. The remaining solution is a thermal pad between the heat bed and the glass. I saw someone put small pieces of thermal pads onto the glass, and this will cause uneven heat distributions on the glass and damage the glass bed potentially. I went with a thick layer of thermal pads to ensure heat distributions and compensate for the surface between the heat bed and the glass. Make the heat bed and the glass can expand individually when heating. This is not the end. Although the glass provides extreme flatness on the surface, it also limits materials. Only a few materials can be printed directly on the glass bed. Most of materials suffer from adhering to the glass bed. This problem comes with a popular solution, the PEI sheet. PEI sheet helps more materials adhere to the bed surface. I first stuck PEI on the glass bed directly. It worked well. After several months of usage, I faced an annoying process. Some 3 dependent parts need to be cooled down to room temperature to release them. They stick firmly on the flat PEI surface. To have a faster wall flow, I replaced the PEI sheet with common PEI on the spring sheet and the magnetic sheets on the glass. This is not an optimized choice because the magnetic sheets and the spring sheet will expand based on the glass surface. The print surface may not be as flat as pure glass or pure PEI sheet, but it is a compromised solution for faster workflow. So, which kind of combinations do you think will have the flattened surface, but also keep materials adhered on? Leave a comment below to share your thought. Like, share this video and subscribe to this channel if you like it. Or consider becoming a Patreon member to support more projects. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.